Let's explain how to solve this initial value problem. Then we see that this is a, a linear equation with a non-homogeneous part. Then uh, here the non-homogeneous part is 5 and, and then the solution of this equation would be y equal to the solution of the homogeneous plus the particular solution. Remember that the solution of the homogeneous is the solution of the differential equation that we get when we make the non-homogeneous part equal zero. That means the solution of the homogeneous is the solution of this equation, which is c times e to the 3t. In order to find the particular solution, we look at the non-homogeneous part, and then we see that the non-homogeneous part is a constant, then we look for a particular solution of this form. Then, in this case, we try to find an A such that this is a solution of the original equation. Um, let's see, in this case, the derivative would be zero, and then when I replace this information into the original equation, we get that zero must be equal to three times y, but y is a plus 5, and that means that a should be negative 5 thirds. Now we have the general solution. The general solution is the homogeneous, which is c e to the 3t plus the particular, which is negative 5 thirds. Uh, once we have the, solu the general solution, we can find the solution of the initial value problem. We have to make y equal to and t equal, in this case, t to 0 is 0, and then we make t equal 0. And that gives us that c must be equal to 2 plus 5 thirds, which is 11 thirds. Then the solution of the initial value problem is y equal to 11 thirds e to the 3t minus 5 thirds. But the problem is asking us to compute the solution evaluated at 0 0.3. Then y of 0 0.3 is going to be equal to 11 thirds e to the 3, we replace t by 0 0.3, minus 5 over 3, which is equal to 11 thirds e to the 0 0.9 minus 5 thirds. And this is equal to 7.35188.